Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're doing a little review. So Arteza sent me these goodies, so this watercolor pad and some metallic gouache colors. And I've never tried or even, you know, heard of metallic gouache until now, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> So first things first, I had to open up these goodies and and they actually look really, really cool inside the little tubes and everything. They look quite metallic and shiny, so I'm excited. And the watercolor pad was actually looking promising uh, at first glance. It was very thick. It's um, 300 GSM if I'm not uh, wrong. And uh, it was time to figure out what to paint. And I was feeling, of course, a portrait because hi have you met me <laughs> so i decided to actually cut the watercolor pad paper into two a5s just because i wanted to try these out and not take up hours uh <laughs> and i was feeling extra so i also rounded the corners of these yeah after taping down my paper it was time to draw the little sketch and I actually had a drawing that I did a couple weeks ago in my sketchbook that I kind of thought would look nice to try out the metallic gouache. Um, I could like use the gouache in her jewelry and you know, just kind of mess around with the colors in the backgrounds and stuff. Uh, so I basically sketched out the same uh, drawing, but on the paper. So far, so good. Um, the watercolor paper, of course, still hasn't had its time to shine. So uh, I couldn't exactly review it yet. And I decided actually to go ahead and uh, test out the watercolor paper with some masking fluid because I know that's a thing that a lot of people, including myself, use uh, when drawing with, uh, when painting, sorry, with watercolors. And I wanted to see how it, uh, you know, worked with masking fluid. And the first thing I noticed is that it was kind of like when I was drawing and putting down the masking fluid, the paper is kind of like very, how do I say this? It's very soft but in the wrong way it's very like cotton i don't know how to explain this <laughs> it was very like fur furry and um just not very pressed and just how i'm used to seeing watercolor paper but i don't know if that's just me so regardless it was time to actually add in watercolors i of course wanted to test out the watercolor pad with watercolors and then add in the metallic gouache afterwards on top so i could basically give everything a run of prince money and i just kind of laid down the watercolors everything was actually going on pretty nicely on the watercolor pad uh the paper is really good it's thick and it, it i don't know i think it does its job pretty well i'm obviously not the most well versed in uh watercolor uh materials i just kind of you know if it works i'll use it <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it did the job it i there was nothing noticeable uh that i noticed <laughs> about the, the paper that wasn't working too well. And by the way, I'm using my Paul Rubens watercolor uh, set, which are my favorites. And I've tested them out on various different watercolor papers. And yeah, this one, it, it worked just as well. The one thing I will say is that it was kind of um, going back to that whole uh, like weird texture when I added in like details and used a smaller paintbrush. So it basically bled a lot more, even when the base color was completely dry, it sort of bled. And now we're getting to the tragic part of the video, which is when I try to remove the masking fluid and um, yeah, and this happened. Yeah. I kind of wanted to die, and by kind of, I mean a lot. So, um, 
This is the most unsatisfying peel porn of all time, so I really do caution your eyes because this is the most tragic thing that I think I've ever shown on my YouTube channel. It's just really, really sad. Um, yeah, basically the masking fluid ripped up all the paper. And again, I think this is due to it being such a weird texture. Like even you can see here in the close up that, that it's just very like suede. It looks like suede. That's kind of what I was, you know, looking. It's not, instead of it having like a, a leathery kind of texture, um, or look to it, it had more of a suede kind of look to it. So it, it kind of looked like it was uh, a cotton jacket or something. It was just, I don't know how to explain it, but it just wasn't good. And basically it was extra sensitive to stuff like masking fluid. And um, it just ripped up everything. It was really tragic. So after this very, very sad moment, I went in with obviously, you know, more watercolors to try and fix what could be fixed. And uh, I tried my best, but of course, with it being ripped up, it had a different texture to it. It, it was just a mess. And um, I tried removing the masking fluid with various different um, like strategies. So with my finger, with a rubber, with a putty eraser, it, it just wouldn't budge basically. But after all that, it was time for the gouache to be tested. And honestly, the gouache was pretty much a very good tension breaker to this review. It was actually so, so pretty. So the first one that I tried out was this sort of like salmon color, this pinkish salmon color, and it it was very, very beautiful. As you can see, I tried to film some little close-ups of the paint and it was so pretty and like iridescent, but the gold color was actually the star of the show. Look at how beautiful that is. It looks just as beautiful on paper as it does, um, like just, you know, on its own on the palette. It just looks so so like real and beautiful. I am a huge fan of this gold. Actually, I was a huge fan of about four of the colors in this set. I, the other ones I, you will see because I do actually swatch them after I finish this drawing. Kind of four of the colors are the real, the real stars of the show. Um, I also tried out this little like pearlish color and the bronze and then it was time to peel off uh, the, the masking tape, which again, You'll see what I mean about the texture in more detail after I give you guys a close-up of the paper after I took off the masking tape. It just looks like it's got fur or something. It's and to the touch, it's just weird. It it's just not what watercolor paper should be like, I think. And um, yeah, I don't know if I can recommend this watercolor paper that much if you do a lot of crazy things like using masking tape and uh, masking fluid. It just doesn't really bode well with those kinds of materials but on the other hand the gouache colors were beautiful like look at that iridescence in the light it just it's shiny and it's so pretty and i think this is such a good option to add little nuances and little um like sparkly details to paintings i just think it's like a really cool option because it's really affordable and it it just actually works really nicely like look at those look at those shiny colors as you can see as I mentioned, the silver, gold, bronze, and the pink are probably like the most uh, shiny ones. Those two at the top there are my favorites, the bronze and the gold. I just think they're so beautiful. With all that said, that's pretty much the review video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this very tragic sort of painting occur. In the end, it doesn't look too bad. It's obviously you can notice the, um, the little tragedies that occurred, but it's not too bad and um, I think we were able to salvage it with a pretty gouache so thank you so much for watching you guys uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye <laughs>